welcome back to reality. Today, wow, my hair just went crazy. Today, I am a little out of my normal makeup routine, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, the 1997 Cinderella just came on Disney Plus with Whitney Houston and Bernadette Peters and Brandy and comedians and a multicultural cast and it's incredible. I grew up with this movie and Paul had never seen it so as soon as I saw that it was on Disney Plus I was like hi so date night we're watching this. He was like okay. It's super like quirky and fantastical and like even a little bit like Dr. Seuss-y. Like the door frames are all crooked. It's just like really really fun. The costumes are a blast. It is not accurate to the original Cinderella tale at all, but my musical theater heart just burst because it is Rodgers and Hammerstein. Julie Andrews debuted that role on Broadway, and when this movie came out, Brandy was the first African-American woman to ever play Cinderella. Previously, they'd all been white, and so that is a really fun thing that they chose to go with a multicultural cast, and it totally worked because it was just really fun storytelling. I am recreating the makeup look to you, for you today with the iconic blue shimmer, two-toned, glossy lip that I would never normally do. <laughs> I feel like a little uncomfortable, but I also kind of love it. Anyway, major difference is that she's African American and I'm not, and so there are definitely some modifications I made for this look to suit my skin tone, but this is definitely inspired by the ballroom makeup. I even thought about doing my hair in a bun and then I was like, nah. <laughs> I was so excited to film, I just didn't want to waste other time doing other things. I hope you enjoy this video, I hope it's fun to watch. This makeup look is actually relatively quick compared to some like involved looks, so I hope you enjoy it. There are some things that maybe I would do differently, um, but overall I'm pleased with how it turned out. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, well first, let's get this hair back. Just feel like now I look like a struggling poet, but we'll just let that be what it is. Um, I think I actually wanna do the eyes first, and that's just in case there's any fall down. Cause when glitter falls, it like makes a statement. So <laughs> we're gonna start with eyes. I'm going with my primer, obviously first. And then we'll figure out what the heck we're doing because I don't really have a plan. Like always, we figure it out together, which is part of the fun. So I have some reference pictures that I'm going to be using, but I actually think, theory, that the publicity photos and her makeup from the movie are actually different. Personal theory. Um, and so some of the publicity photos I feel like look different than what I noticed when we were actually watching mo the movie the other day. So I'm going to be doing kind of a combination. And the biggest, most obvious piece is that she's African American and I'm super white. Um, and so um, I'm just going to be taking some of, the, this is more inspired by the Cinderella makeup than it is a recreation. If you want that, I'm sure they're on YouTube or Instagram. So some of these publicity photos, and, and I think some of the movie photos, she has some really like good under brow highlight, but also the brows were like, so there was a lot of real estate to enjoy the eyeshadow options. I don't have as much real estate as they did in the 90s, <laughs> um, but I think we're gonna just start with an all over base color. Um, I'm gonna go in with just this flesh color from my Go In Coconuts Color Pop palette. So we're just gonna go all over with that and then we'll see where we are after. So watching this the other day, my husband had never seen it before, which I was like, um, I'm sorry, did you have a childhood? But it was really fun to get to watch it with him because I totally grew up watching that movie. It was, I probably saw it more than the animated Cinderella, let's be honest. I think like the library had it or I was just more intrigued because of the musical theater people that were in it or something like that. Okay, so we have that all over the lid. And then I think we're gonna go in with our transition shade. And it is, let's see, I'm looking at my picks. Her transition shade in 
the publicity photos is takes up more real estate than I think it did in the movie. So we're gonna start small and then if we need to expand it later, we can. There, it was like really in the crease, you know, like trendy eyeshadow, now we like blend it on the outer corner. This was not the case um, with this makeup. So we're gonna go right in the crease and we're gonna make it even from the inner corner to the outer corner. We're gonna make it pretty even. It maybe is brown. It's, it's kind of hard to tell because of her skin tone. So maybe it's like a brown, but it looks more like gray or black, not a black, like a charcoal, than it does like a rich orangey brown. So that's kind of, I'm going for a cooler, that's the one I should have used, cooler transition shade than, than warmer. So the line between the blue and the transition shade is actually gonna be pretty stark. So I'm blending more on this upper end, on this upper side, than I am on the lower side. Okay, I think that's good for now. We'll come back and fix it later if we need to. Blending on my left eye, I have like a vein or something right here that makes my blending always look funny on my left eye. I don't know what it is, man. And the, the shape is very much round. It's not like a, sh like a straight cut crease, um, but... There was no like trying to like wing out the eye or anything like that from what I can tell. It's blended out nicely, but it's not like a bold wing shape or anything like that. All right, I think that's a good place to start. I think we should go in with the blues because that's really why we're here. I am going in with this blast of a palette. It's the Tarte Remix palette, but it's the mini one. And this middle blue I feel like is exactly what we're looking for. It also smells good. I have the big remix palette, but it didn't have the blues that we wanted. We wanted to like pack on pretty like intensely. Okay, so this is dry. We might want to go back in with it wet, but this is not a bad place to start. All right, here we go. Yep, just grabbed a little bit of water and um, that really amped it up the way that we wanted. I was, as we were watching this the other day, I was like, why did we think this was a good idea? This makeup look like the glittery blue eyeshadow all over the lid. No joke, I went to a wedding like a couple years ago and this is what all the bridesmaids did. It wasn't like a themed wedding. It was like, they all thought it was like a cute cute look and we're putting this all over the lid not blending it into the crease we may blend it just a smidge once it dries but right now we just want to pack on that color and again going in that rounded shape following the crease without creating Whoa, this is so good. My husband's gonna be like, I'm sorry, what happened here? Be like, um, artistry, obviously. I don't know what you thought, but. There we go so far. I did bring it up a little bit higher on my left eye than on my right, but our eyes are not symmetrical. So I want it to look even, but I don't need it to look exactly the same. Okay, that is fun. That's a little bit like green, isn't it? I thought it would be like a little bit more stark blue, but we'll see as it dries. Now, as far as I can tell, she doesn't have a top eyeliner on. Um, she may be wearing falsies, but I don't, I don't know. I have some light ones for when we're at the very end. But the most iconic things about this look are the metallic blue eyeshadow and the lips, which we will have a lot of fun with later. Now, there was hardly any fall down, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my foundation. Um, I am using the Tarte Matte Shape Tape Foundation that they don't make anymore, but I like it a lot and I have a lot of it left. <laughs> um, and we are going pretty matte. Now it is trendy to do very glowy skin right now, but that was not the case in the 90s. And I actually like a matte face look. 
but she still has some good like shape to her face like she still has some great like her face is not one dimensional just because it's matte so that's something we're gonna try to do well and this color matches the lightest parts of my face but makes me look a little washed out until we add some color back in so bear with me <laughs> now her skin looks flawless in this movie so um we're gonna try to get there my skin is so far from flawless which is fine with me on the daily but as i'm trying to look like brandy it's quite the feat quite the task and i have some blemishes right now that we're we're working with as well but on i, I forgot to put on a primer i'm just now realizing um so that would help the flawlessness of one's skin But we're also gonna try to, we're gonna do a little bit of like baking situation that is hopefully going to help set some of this biz. Almost forgot concealer, like entirely. That would be so silly of me. Okay, now I'm just taking some powder and I am not being conservative with it. Whew, as you can tell, because I really want this skin to look flawless it won't happen because I am expressive and that's just not the way my face is yeah okay um I didn't use a sponge I used a brush so it's not really like as thick as it would be if I was like baking baking but I left my um sponge my dry sponge in the other room where my child is sleeping so just gonna let that sponge be in that room. Okay, I've got some makeup in my hair. <laughs> um, let's just brush out these brows just to make sure there's no foundation or anything in them. I'm actually, I don't think I'm gonna do anything to these because they are way larger than what they had in the 90s, which is fine with me but um, I don't feel the need to enhance them in any way for this look. Okay, now you know she had a black chart, like a black liner on that waterline. You know she did. So let's go ahead and put that in. Staple of the 90s and 2000s was the waterline eyeliner. Drives me nuts, but it was a thing. Again, I don't think she had any eyeliner on the top, which is funny to me. I think I do wanna go in and blend a little bit more in this crease just a teensy bit to make sure it looks the way that we wanted it to. I think I'm gonna go in with that same color still though and just see if we can build up that color just a touch more. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just a little bit darker. But I didn't know where the blue was gonna sit. I didn't know how much to put in on that transition, transition shade. Okay, and then she definitely has some highlighter. And I've got a couple to pick from. I kinda wanna do this like icy one from ColourPop, it's called Stole the Show. I think I'm gonna use that one. Uh, they were not shy with that. They didn't do a lot of highlight on the face, but man, eyeshadow was, the 90s enjoyed eyeshadow. And from these pictures, I don't think she has any in the, like, the inner corner, which is funny to me that they like went crazy under her brow and then didn't put it like anywhere else. <laughs> okay, I think we are ready to to spread out this powder situation. Just dusting what is on my face over the rest of my face to set. And like I said, she had some great like structure in her face still, even though the foundation was pretty matte. So we're gonna go in with some bronzy and warm up the bronzed part of our face. Let me see if I can find a good brush for that. 
And I'm using a little bit warmer colors just because that works with my complexion right now. And I wouldn't say she like contoured, but she definitely had some nice structure still, even given the like matte complexion. I need a fluffier brush. Why would a fellow want a girl like her? A girl who's merely lovely. Why can't a fella ever once prefer? I'm kind of loving this, which is funny because I don't like anything that's like 90s, 2000s. It's like not my jam. So it's funny that this is not averse to me. Um, because she's African American, I can't tell kind of the blush situation. At least I'm not as familiar with discerning those types of things. So it looks like she does have a little bit of like something orangey, peachy. Uh, we're gonna use something pretty neutral for me. Maybe some pink, that'd be cute, right? A little pinky, but mostly just neutral just to look like I'm not a corpse. I think it's fun that they still went with blue for her colors in the remake. And this cast, I mean, this cast was just insane. Like Whitney Houston in a musical, like, I'm sorry. That was my only exposure to her as a kid. Bernadette Peters, hello. Brandy, obviously a pop star. Bernadette Peters was who I was most excited about as a kid. Cause I knew she was a big Broadway deal. I knew she was a big deal. Um, okay, and then I think we're done with a lot of that. Let's maybe, let's mo modernize this just a smidge. Cause I feel like my nose has kind of disappeared. So I'm actually, well, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this bronzer lightly on my nose just to bring back some dimension to my nose in this matte complexion. Just kind of like, right, remember I have a nose and it's actually right here. I love how it looks when I do the tip of my nose. I think it's cute. So I'm doing it because I can. Okay, the lips are iconic. So, using a bit of foundation to block out that lip situation. All right, I've got some different things to pick from. We've got the iconic, like, lined, dark lined, glossy lip. It's like so 90s which as like a cultural moment is really fun. Um, I wouldn't choose it for myself in like normal life, but it's really fun to play with. So I'm going to use a brush. I have a brown and then like a nude shade. I also have this color that could be a good option. Maybe that's what we're gonna use. And this is Pillow Talk and Bestie. I think I might use Bestie just because my complexion, hers is like lined with brown, but that makes more sense with her complexion obviously so we're gonna take a brush and do this so we're gonna just huh I don't think this is actually dark enough maybe we should have mixed the two should we try to mix them <gasps> let's do it okay here we go And I'm blending it out before it has the chance to dry. Okay, I would say that's a pretty good start for my first try. And then, of course, we've got our like nude nude happening here. So I'm gonna put it in the center. And we are going to blend it with that lip liner color. If I had a brown lip liner, guess what I would do? <laughs> I would just use a brown lip liner. I guess I could have used like an eyeliner, but I didn't think about it until now. I feel pretty good about this. 
This feels very iconic, 90s. And then I have the perfect gloss. It has pink, purple, and blue, like iridescent shimmer. I got this in an Ipsy bag long ago. Who knew it would be used for such an iconic look? <laughs> I'm so excited. Actually, I'm gonna wait to do that until we do mascara and lashes. So I'm gonna do this quick and then we will come back and do the final touch of the lip gloss because that's really what's going to make this make this stand out. I was actually amazed at the lack of false lashes I saw in this movie. Do I need them? I don't feel like I need them. I don't know. I'm looking at one specific picture where she's like looking to the side and it looks like she could have falsies on but none of these close-ups look like she does. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Also, she may have a little bit of liner on tops. Oop, it's too late. <laughs> okay, is it gloss time? I think I'm not gonna do lashes, but I do think it is gloss time. Here we go. This might be a little too iridescent. Too late. Oh yeah, buddy. That worked itself out, didn't it? Oh boy, you guys, this look is so fun. Now, of course I would not, not normally pick this, even though it even like is trendy right now. How stinking fun is this though? It's just so out of what I would normally do. And I kind of love it. <laughs> My husband's gonna be like, ah. <laughs> um, but that's it. And it went relatively quickly actually. I feel like it did. I don't know. You guys, please tell me what you think of this. If you love the movie. Because who wouldn't, obviously. <laughs> um, and this is so funny. I feel like the skin worked out okay. Um, yeah, no highlight, which is feels very odd to me. But because of the shimmer on the eyes and the lips, I think they were like, okay you know like we weren't really doing highlighter yet cult as a culture <laughs> in the makeup world so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you enjoy the movie now that it's on disney plus i'm not letting you know what you think of this look and the trends of the 2021 era that are coming in hot y2k and 90s stuff okay i'm done keep it real bye